A kettlebell like this one is heavy and it's healthy, but used wrong, it can be very hurtful. That's why Omni West requires all its trainers to have a national accredited license or certification to work here. I just think it's always better to cover your bases. You know, just because you aren't legally required in the state of Georgia to have a certification, liability-wise, I feel much more comfortable with a trainer who's certified. Unfortunately, too many trainers aren't licensed, accredited, or trained at all. I certainly would not go to a brain surgeon if he had not gone to school for neurosurgery. While the state of Georgia doesn't require personal trainers to have a license to teach people how to use equipment like this, there are some gyms that say they do prefer it and others that say licenses aren't really necessary. And Bodyplex is one of those gyms that'll hire someone without a license. They refuse to speak on camera, but over the phone, Jenny Wolfs, who hires the staff, told me while a license is preferred, it's not always necessary. She says a person with an exercise science degree sometimes is just as knowledgeable. Regardless of what individual gyms think, Senator Emanuel Jones says Georgia should have a standard knowledge requirement for trainers for safety reasons. I think this bill is about uh, someone's personal safety. Senator Jones has sponsored a bill that would require personal trainers to have a license before practicing, and part of the reason is personal. Why it comes from my own personal experience of having dealt with uh, personal fitness trainers that were not qualified to train anyone. And the senator wants to make sure nobody else gets injured or has to go through the same pain as he did.